When the rain hits my window, I take it. <sighs> me some, me and Timberland, we sing a dangle. We so tight that you get our styles tangled. Sway your do si do like you loco. Can we get pink at night like Coco? Can we get pink at night like Coco? Can we get pink at night? Can we get pink at night? By your sweet princess Zuka. Can we get pink at night like Coco? Like, like Coco. Yes, after the Odyssey, all clean and neat, waiting for me to vocalize. But first, I will talk to you. Hola, hello, ciao, good morning. I am your Princess Ilka. And I am not exaggerating when I tell you I feel mildly to, yeah, almost largely overwhelmed after all this cooking. Because not alone, it takes too much attention to be super thorough. I like it clean, so I have to compromise. I cannot always get rid of the garbage in my kitchen, so to speak, right away, which I would like to. But also because as I do it, I'm in excruciating pain. I am in hardship and I am also crying. So I'm overwhelmed and uh, finishing, I have a tremendous large a success event, meaning keeping it all clean again and having it all neat. And that makes me feel satisfied. I am in so much pain, I cannot find the moment to actually actively appreciate the food. Which of course I did. I am also observing and looking at all times what I have to do and mostly I say mostly, mainly when I walk out anywhere, there's people all around me shooting at me. It's painful as well. Yeah, they're shooting because they'll in unilateral address their attention to me without further noticing that I'm actually a human being who walks. I'm a goddess. Yeah, can you shoot the goddess then? It is outrageous. Every day it is outrageous. I miss my home so much. You have no idea. Overwhelmed, that's how I feel. Practically, completely overwhelmed. With all the input. And I'm dealing with it. I'm like the big washer. Am I the big washer? <laughs> Am I the big dipper? Here I am. Did you like my atacalacho from yesterday? Did you like it? <laughs> no, I listened to it um, yesterday. Yeah, usually I, I listen to my atacalacho the following day. But since I could not upload it, I listened to it like before I downloaded it from my iMovie. Just to make clear and sure that everything is there. And yes, often I make addings right now. Not editings, addings. I don't delete anything what I say, ever. Because I think before I speak, remember? And the moment you could talk, you were ordered to listen. No, no, no. You know the song from Cat Stevens? I like it. So I listen to the videos and take note for my next video in my head uh, what else need to I need to address and uh, sometimes not often I make a few addings to make it more explicit you think about how much cleaning I do that I can look into everything and don't feel disgusted because I have kind of a gooey wall around me and that 
which separates me from their uglinesses. And I can look at it from a more neutral perspective. It is touching when I think about Gloria. I never gave you the name. Gloria is the hag sister from Mick. It is touching to see her horrible, ugly hag face smiling at me from the inside. No, I know. Um, yeah, I, which, which language am I speaking? Spanish. I know, Ashley girl. That's not it. <laughs> oh, that was Lucero, Malena's sister. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, they have it stuck in their throat or their whatever, you know her. It is, oh, it is touching and overwhelming to see a person so ugly. Yeah, that was years later. I'm not sure how that happened. I mean, how often did I went in and out? The property has several houses. There is a gate and then there is a yeah, parking space where no one has cars. <laughs> And straight forward is one, and to the left is another one, and to the right is hers, and there's another one in the back, all the way. Oh, and good day, maybe I was walking in? I don't know, did she came out to tell me? To go visit her? So I went. And sitting on her table, it was very dark. I see, like, maybe the walls were painted black and it was very austere. But uh, I might be mistaken. It's just the impression I have because it was so brief. A rectangular table. I sat in the middle on the horizontal part. And all around me, people sitting. And then her husband walked in. That is my memory. It could also have been that I saw him another time and I'm placing, it in this, uh, placing him in the scene. I think she had more children. I don't even know, imagine. But then I might be mistaken too. I don't know that much about them. Okay, I know that the poet, she, she had, had no children. But then again, I might be mistaken. I don't know, I just didn't thought about it. And then the one who lived in Medita, who I saw briefly, I don't think she had children. I know nothing about Fernando from the Zacarias family brothers. Only what I told you. I never met him. Christy had two daughters. They were also sensitive. Well, Sergio we know. Sergio and Leonor, they have four children. And I don't know about the twins. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird, right? I don't know why I know, I do not know. All right, I have to say this. There were no family events from the brothers and sisters of Mick. Mick Sakbe, that's how he named himself. There were none, none, zero. No family gatherings, ever. Hence, I never saw them together. None. Who came to the wedding? Poof, from the family? I don't know. Well, um, Alfredo came. And René Cardona. Well, I remember the Malena family, though. Because... I'm from that family. I'll have to think about it. I know that there were like, from Miguel's side, there were like 150 guests. And I had 10. <laughs> 10. I, I could have not invited anybody. Who was there? Olivia? No, the tiny stupid Olivia with her husband, I suppose. And uh, yeah, Helga came. And Walter, Walter came. No, he did not came. I have to think. No, yes, he came. I'm so confused right now. I think yes. I'm a little bit confused about it. Walter, I think she was there. Yeah, and then there was Ida Seyma and her husband who played for me. 
they had a uh, the, the, he he played jazz and she actually rehearsed a few jazz songs for Jane Smith being an opera singer. No, oh, it was okay. <laughs> she was all right. <laughs> I mean, she's not a jazz singer, so she's that she got has not that sexual sensual jazzy feeling. Nope, <laughs> nope. And who else was there? I cannot really remember right now. It's sort of kind of, I didn't really have much friends. And then Uli Zöllner, she was upset that I did not invite her. The other German woman who was young and pretty, who always had these like very tall and large boyfriends. Well, I knew her too. Yeah, the one who, who played the Beatles and made me sing a little bit over some Beatles recordings he was making himself. And who also showed me how to play flamenco guitar while he just demonstrated it to me once. And then I... This is not the video to go into that story. I don't know, too many loops. And so I played it and he said, wow, you could be an excellent flamenco player. Flamenco guitarist, sure. That was just, really? That was just one evening. I sort of kind of had met Uli. And I don't even remember him there, but I know he called me if I could record. And that was when Uli went to Germany. And he lived right next to my house, crossing the large street on the other side. I mean, really, I didn't know that. So I went to his little studio and we recorded. Yeah, some one day in the evening. I think it was a Thursday. It was one of those days I had to go to Mexico City and came home really tired, but I went anyhow. Not sure, six-ish maybe? Six to eight or seven to nine, something like that. And what I noticed, I think the only reason perhaps why he called me in is because he felt so lonely. He was missing Uli so much. That was a touching. This, he looked like Frankenstein, the monument, that thing. <laughs> and Beatles, how boring. Does he not have anything else? But whatever, I did it. I don't know, some vocalises on top. I don't remember what it was, something. It was touching <laughs> how he was like missing her. No, I was just sitting there and doing that singing and well, that was it, then I left. So, and Uli then later shared another one, but I did not invite her because she was too drunk. Yeah, she called me one day. How was I yesterday? What? Did I not go too drunk? I mean, did I do anything weird and strange? Hmm, <laughs> I don't know, it's mine. I don't know what to say. We accepted her, tolerated her, Waltraud and I, but there was not really someone to hang out with. Although I did once then. She called me in and wanted to go somewhere. Yeah, visit that architect's house she had just met, I guess. Um, well, that was in between her other two boyfriends. <laughs> Anyhow, I did not invite her because of, you know, whatever scandal she could cause there. In, I did not really felt that she was my friend to invite her to such a private event. So, we were talking about mixed brothers and sisters. No, I'm in pain as I speak. I do not know who went. Ah, uh, Anwar, I remember. That was some uncle. I liked him plenty. Did he now came or not? I don't remember. Maybe they were all there. To me, it was so brief. It was in Leonor's garden, backyard. All right, here it is. I couldn't care less about any of that. But out of respect for Pavarotti, I went, I did all that. And Malena said that she would sponsor the place. Yeah, at the time I didn't know how poor she was and how much of a lamentable talker she was with no sustenance, no substance, just talk. And since it was her family and her will, she wanted that wedding because Mick said, you know, it's time, it's still time, I can put the ladder so you can run away. <laughs> he continued saying that. Then he threw some deck, some tarot on me and said, look, that's la jaula de oro, that's the cage of gold. You have still time, I can put the ladder on the window, you can run away <laughs> before. You know, like, do you really want to get married? Are you joking? I continued saying so. I don't know, I think he meant it or not, it doesn't matter. Because for the matter wouldn't have mattered. Writing on no wedding, I was right there, as long as I was. But it was Malena's family who wanted that. Yeah, and Pavarotti, because of her family, and there did the big fuss. And bridesmaids, I had no clue what, what is that. They just all arrived in this spitting green, yeah, brats green, like, 
dresses. I have nothing to do with this. I didn't even know them. So they came and they did the display. Yeah, and there was a church, well, a little capilla involved. Okay, I agreed to that. A small one, super, super sensitive, sensible. Uh, yeah, Sen sencilla, super simple. I was right behind my house. Very beautiful, old. Yeah, I would. I couldn't care less. Really, I couldn't care less. But I respected his wish, so I did that. And Malena, she said. I mean, think about it. That was January, right? That we figured out the pregnancy of December. I don't know, right around New Year's. And the whole thing happened now, middle of March. So that was like two and a half months, right? January, February. Yeah. No time. So Malina said, no, uh, uh, why don't you do that in Rancho Cuernavaca? I, I pay for it. I said, okay, whatever you want. And that was that. But time passed and she didn't, I don't know, nothing happened. So I wondered. Miguel didn't tell me anything. She just went to work. He left me alone. And then two weeks to the day, yeah, we were in March. She still hadn't given the place. So I kind of wonder, I don't know who said it finally, but he should have just told me that she's just talking, that she has no money. She has no money to rent a room. <laughs> That's how delirium they are, these people, man. His mother. I mean, totally lost in space. Lunatic, that's what they are, loony bin. So, and nothing had happened and he wanted, then Leonor chimed in, I don't know, I didn't, I, I, for me, everything was new. I, I, I don't remember how it all came along, but she said, no, I took care. Well, she was like the party woman. She, took, she, she organized all the parties because she had money. And she also had that house, very large, with a, like almost a commercial kitchen and she had staff and the garden. So then she took care of it. And it was very simple and I liked it. Very simple, no big deal. Nothing with idiotic traditions, nothing with little games that do on the weddings, nothing. And no, I did not have a white dress and Pavarotti did not have a suit on because he didn't want it to, I didn't, I, I found him a shirt in some artisanal store, artisanal, but also new in Cuernavaca. And I could and that was really cool because his family is supposed to come from Lebanon, right? They had that Lebanese food going on in their family too. But then again, they were from Mexico. So the shirt looked like it could have been from Lebanon or from Mexico, a black shirt with like stitchings on. And I just put some beige pants underneath, I think that's what it was, matching my beige dress. It was outrageously simple and innovative. I liked it so much, be like in this informal. And I liked very much that Pavarotti went with it. Because, you know, they are the tradition, but they don't go to church, no one does. They just like the party. <laughs> so that's what he was wearing. And I think it's so cool. No, I got that shirt for him. I asked him to come with. I don't know. I, I told him, how about? Oh yeah, sure. He liked it. Artsy, it looked artsy, the whole thing. Drop top, pawn shop, will I sell it? Hell nah. Four wheels, ten toes, dress low, relax, eight tracks in the council. Jeez, drive round up an endo, please keep that on the down low. I got no fancy features, fuzzy dice, couple speakers, radio, no receiver, gas light on, but I don't believe it. Road trips in a cappuccino, spill the coke, bag of Cheetos, engine gon' blow like a pack of C4, blown out smoke to the boy's steamboat. Big dreams, never sleep though, bag gon' hop like an El Camino, modified my bitch illegal, parts come cheap down in Puerto Rico. Drop top beater, quarters in Meter, cranking up the heater Cause one. the AC doesn't so, work damn. Drop top beater Call could call it's me Peter shit. Ask the big friend Sorry, uh -huh. love, I'm a two-seater uh. Drop top beater <laughs> Drop top beater <laughs> Go okay. for a ride You try to come over here Cookie cats in the block, will I stop? Right. Hell nah. I got the lab, it's a special powder that I bought it, used my 100,000. Overheat on summer evening, she wanna title it, can't be salvaged. Seven deep, shit super crowded, go A to B, I don't do rerouting.